My name is Jimmy Scott, and I'm the owner of this place. And uh, I guess you can say I purchased it in 1973. Well, I call it the Scott Farm, and uh, I started out with cattle. And uh, 2000, I went to pine trees, about 65,000 loblops. It's been thinned three times. Uh, of course, I put them out. Uh, I guess you can say five or ten, ten on the road and five apart. And I would recommend that because that, that first year in 2000, it was pretty dry. And I lost uh, 10 or 15 percent of them I had to replant. Try to maintain it through uh, NRCS, like my prescribed burning and some other things that I did to it. My name is Wally Holman. I've been with uh, Natural Resources Conservation Service for 18 years. The Environmental Quality Incentive Program has helped Mr. Scott with some of his, uh, his thinning, with uh, diversion, and prescribed burning. Well, you know, uh, you know, tree farm, it, it helps, you know, uh, with, the, with the ecosystem, you know. Uh, it, it, it helps as far as, too, with his cattle out here, you know, in the summertime, they got shade, they're not hot. Um, so that, that's going to help the cow from being less stressed. And so that is, that is definitely, and it helped with the wildlife also. I'd say a, a, a beginning farm or something, you get out and plant trees, you, you just, uh, you got to do something else for the next 10 years till they get up. That's even before you can run cows on it. See, they got to get some size before they run cows on it because uh, them little bushes, they'll ride them down. So uh, you, about 10 years, depending on how fast your tree grows, then you can get in there and you can run cattle in there. Well, well, well the thing is, when, you, when you're raising trees, you know, there's not going to be an income for a while. So that, that is one of the challenges. You, you have to wait, you know, before you get an income on that. And you probably won't get your first income until about 15 to 18 years when you do your thinning. And then, you know, from the 15 year, then you gotta wait the 25 to 30 years before that tree is mature, before you do your uh, clear cutting. And then you start that process all back over. Now, if you got a big enough place, then you can raise those trees in different stages, which also would help with your income, but you have to have a bigger place where you might have some of your trees that's 10 years old, 15 years old, 25 years, and then you can also rotate and be able to get clear cut it and, and, and get a production off of that. Oh, well, it's uh, good for the wildlife and, and also control erosion. You can take a uh, little pine needles fall and uh, it filter that water for it get out good. And so it's, it really do, it's really good for the environment. When you mixing the cows in, in, into the land, then you help with uh, uh, that you don't have to mow. That, that's, that's one of the big ones that, you know, he don't, he don't have to do as much morning now with diesel being so high. Also, if the cows do get hung enough, they will go in and graze some of that under, under grass. Some, it, it has some grass in it, and they'll go in there and, and, and graze some of that. And then that would also help uh, uh, with the competition of whatever of herbaceous weed that may be growing up in there. And then if they don't graze it, you know, they walking in there and they kind of stomping it down, so it does help. Yeah, cow really, really been a big help. It had cut out my mowing up here. Ooh, I, I can't imagine how much it cut out the mowing. Because usually this up here will be almost knee deep with my hair grass. What he's doing now, which is new, uh, to be installed this year, and, and over a period of time, he's going to have a water well, he's going to have a livestock pipeline, and he's going to do a cross fence, which is to help for rotation of grazing. And of course, the water well and the, and the, and the livestock pipeline, he's going to set up a trough, and this is to water his cows. Any, anytime Mr. Scott called me, I come running, <laughs> more or less. You know, uh, you know, I want to be able to help him out in any way. I want to see him succeed. I want to see the place be a success in which you see it already is. And so I, I like to say that I help be a, to be a part of that.
the NRCS man or the government man, whichever way you might want to put it. But uh, I really, really enjoy working with him. And uh, 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 I, I don't mind calling him any time. <laughs> who some at sometime and get tired of <laughs> but uh I really uh we got good relationship. Been great working with NRCS. If you take care of the land, the land will take care of you. So I would say, you know, make sure that you're doing some of the things and and, 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 and be able to reach out and try to benefit in any way that you can, even if you don't have big acres, if you just got small acres, you know. If, if, you, if you know something that's going on in your land that needs to be improved, call our office. We'll come out and uh, you know, we'll talk to you about it and we'll give you our professional opinion. If, if there was more people like Mr. Scott uh, that's, that, that's good steward of the land, then um, you know, I, I think the world would be a better place and, and, and every place would look great.